everyone. It is Let's Make Something with our Junk Mail Day again today. I tried to get on yesterday, but it rained so much. Our veranda leaks a little bit out here. Um, so I had to take some things inside so it didn't get wet. Um, so I was productive inside a little bit. Um, not much, though, I must admit. Um, now, what I'm making today are some little pocket envelope things with our junk mail. Um, I was chatting away quite merrily working along with you guys in another video but the video was not working so half an hour you yeah, you missed me fussy cutting something which maybe was a good thing because um it wasn't really exciting um as you can hear it's happy mail happy mail happy hour outside again um our rainbow lorikeets are out there um in the trees in our backyard um and a couple of crows so i can hear um so anyway let me show you what I did in the other video <laughs> um, for you guys. So it's just um, two pages of junk mail. So one, two, this is just the Woolies catalogue. Um, I have used some most of the pages out of here already. Um, and I've just literally stuck two pages together. And I've chopped it into, well, not half, but about that much and we had a strip here that was left over um that way there we go so um i've done that i've gessoed i'm pretty sure nat said that um you can use gesso so i've gessoed the front um of this pocket and the flap so that's been gessoed i'm just waiting for that to dry i was going to gesso this one but i thought i would leave it because i might um do something else with this one so let me just put this aside to dry um, with a couple more that i've got over here um, and i will get on to the one that i was working on with you now i've already made the pocket on this one um I was fussy cutting this out, which I've now finished. Uh, this here is just a little woven thing that I've woven out of um, this Woolies catalog. So as you can tell, this pink here um, is part of this and the green strip is um, from here. So I've just cut it into little strips and I've woven I don't know, like a little embellishment rug thing um i've stuck it on here with glue stick it's just lifting up a little bit here so i'll give this a bit of tacky glue i'm not going to make sure i just want it down there we go um so i fussy cut out the rest of this sunflower with you guys i didn't have much to do it was only um i think it was this section here or somewhere so, and I've inked around the edges um, with some gathered twigs oxide. The camera's up there, really, not here. I keep looking at the light, guys, instead of the camera. I think that's half my problem. Okay, so what I want to do is I wanted to fussy cut something out so it still showed the weaving through. Um, it doesn't matter whether the lid covers up the flower. Yeah, I like that right there. So, um, this flower come out of, um, I'm not sure whether anybody gets innovation magazines in the mail um, or Magna Mail, you know, the junk mail that you, you get. And, you know, well, this is just out of one of those. I think it was some garden ornament <coughs> that hangs on the wall. Um, so, I've just chopped that out um, and I'm rambling and what am I going to do? I'm going to stick it down. That's what I'm going to do. So... Let me get rid of the goods off that. Okay. So I'll just put a bit of tacky glue on here. Now the birds are loving this rain that we've been having. Alright, so... 
me adjust that. Yeah, I like that. I think that looks lovely. So all I've done with this one is I've made it the same as these. I've just um, cut, stuck two pages together, made a little envelope out of that. Um, I've stuck the sides down with um, this tacky glue. I've run some inks over the top of it. So I've used, um, what inks did I use? I used Barn Door. Um, that makes the pink and I've done some stenciling on there. I've also used, um, which one was it? I think it was Lucky Clover. No, I don't think it was. I think it was um, peeled. Is this peeled paint? Is that what they call it? Yeah, I think it was this one. So I've done um, this one around the outside. I've done this one. And then I've given it a run over just a little bit with some um, gathered twigs just to tone down the colours a little bit. So they're the inks that I've used. Um, I prefer the oxide to the inks actually. Um, they blend better. So back to this one. Now all I've done is um, I've cut out, oh, it's just one I think it was... Um, Kmart catalogue or something or it could have even been the Magna Mail um, there was some pile of um, sweaters or jumpers uh, so I've just stuck that in there to cover up that little bit of junk mail underneath so there's that so far so what do you think guys and that way you can put in let me see what I've got up here on the book page um, you can put in you know your little tags if you make you can make tags out of these <clears throat> um, you can run stitches up the side with the sewing machine my sewing machine um, is inside I don't want to bring it out and have to cut, cut it back in um, and my other ones in my dungeon so um, yes so I think that looks lovely look at that so that's just something that you can make you can see the junk mail underneath but i wanted that effect so you can see what it's made out of um but once that's glued down yeah um and you can also um stitch i've made one here um i've hand stitched this with a blanket stitch it's a similar concept i've just inked around excuse me for a second guys Oh. okay so i've literally i've gessoed i've stuck a um i think that was the aldi's catalog with, there was a lady in the bathtub this was the one here i've got a couple of these um there was a lady in the bathtub here somewhere um there there we go so i've just chopped out this bit here um and i've stuck it inside and there was a brown um, bit of like strip off the bottom of, of your magazines. Um, I've chopped that off and I've just put that up the top because the picture wasn't quite long enough. Um, it's a nice effect. I really like that. Um, so, yeah, I've just done some stenciling with some of that gathered twigs oxide. And I used, um, oh, that's the rest of, oh, that's the rest of this. There it is right there, look at that. Um, and the outside of it, I have used this thread that I took off that shirt um, when I was pulling the beads off it. So I've just used that um, to stitch this closed. So this one's my favourite, I really like this one. Um, love the effect. So, um, yeah. So I might do that to the outside of this one. Um, I might get some pink. I've got some scraps of, um, what do you call this, embroidery thread. So I'll see what I've got. I've got like a hot pink there. I might, um, I don't know. I'll go around the outside with some of that because I really like that effect. So anyway, guys, just a little something else that you can do um, with your 
junk mail. Um, I think they've turned out really lovely. Um, so let me see if this one's dry. It's still a little bit wet, but you know what? There are no rules. So let's do it real quick like. So I'll just pull this one off. I need to get some more of these, these things here. And I'll put my blue on. Now, like I said, um, the oxide, so I'll grab a bit of, um, this is Broken China. I really like this colour. Um, I like it a lot, actually. So let's just give, yeah, it's a little bit wet still, but let's just go for it. I normally stick my sides down once I've done um, everything here. Put a bit on the top. And <clears throat> what can I go around the outside with? I might try a bit of this wild honey actually. I might try that. I'll give that a whirl. I'll just use the brown because um, it's kind of the same family. Uh, let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's nice. I like that. around here <clears throat> yeah that's nice look at that I'll get rid of this like I said this will become beads at some point in its life um, what else can I use I might just do my traditional go over it with a little bit of um, this just to tone down our blue a little bit. There we go. Around the outside. Wow. Beautiful. All right. So let's now figure out what we're going to do with the front. Um, you could always use fabric. Um, if I'm not sure whether you can use fabric, but you know I've got like scraps and scraps of fabric, so you could put fabric on there. Um, sorry, Matt, I'm going to break the rules. Let's see what I've got. You know what I might do though. I might grab, um, I want to put something on here, I might just use, um, look at this, it's going to be too, too small, let's see. Set another layer of um, interest on here. Let's see how that looks. That was just gathered twigs oxide, guys. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like that. All right. So, good choice. Good choice. All right. I might use that there, actually. Um, what else have I got? No. Oh, that's fun, isn't it? I might use that. That's a little bit fun. 
It's got our yellow in it. It's got blue. Yeah. All right. Fabric, fabric, fabric blue. Here we go. This is just um, blue from the Spotlight. Let me just run that across the bottom. Like I said, this um, gesso is still a little bit wet, but that's okay. There are no rules, guys. You just get in there and just do it. Well, I know Nax made rules, but you know what I mean. You don't have to wait for things to dry. Alrighty. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. I'll just straighten that up a little bit. Alright, scissors. That's just fray the edge of that. There we go. So there's that. Oops. quite stuck. Right, yeah, now you're not going anywhere. Alrighty. Now I cut out this little guy, which I think is so cute. Our little koala. Look at that. So I might use him on the front of this actually. So let me just grab my ink and I'll go around the outside. Um, not that it makes any difference, but it just makes me happy knowing that I've, um, I've done it. So let's go around. The outside of that. There we go, little fella. Actually, it's a mama koala with her baby. There we go. And I might do, because we got our koala, I might do a couple of little leaves. So I'll just figure out where I want. Where I want it. Um, so if he, she sits there, so I probably want one here, and I'll turn it over, <coughs> so I want them to go this way, and I want that right there, so let's give that a go. Okay. Just adds that little bit of extra interest on there. <laughs> My sponge is falling apart. Look at that. All right. Yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. All right, so let's stick her down. Uh, this is erupting, so I'll use this. I'll just use this glue up. Got to remember to put the lid down on that. All right. Yeah. Lovely. Look at that. So once again, this was just out of one of those um, Magna Mail. Um, catalogs. You can find some really nice pictures in um, magazines, actually, not magazines, like junk mail. Sometimes the camping magazines have pictures of um, birds and wildlife in them. <coughs> Alright. Now, Let's stick the sides down. Put a bit of glue. And oh, I should have put something here first. That's why I had this out. Right. Let me open that back up. Now I want that to go about. there all right so let me trim you don't have to but i don't want to some 
following a kind of straight line and I'll trim this side and I think my son's home from school it's that time of the afternoon hello hello how was school that's good so you had a good day what did you learn anything exciting okay No, oh, awesome. So was it exciting? <clears throat> I love biology. So you got to look at onion skin through a microscope. Awesome. Yeah? Yeah. There you go. You'll have to drag your um, microscope out, hey? Yeah. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's still there. You still there? Oh, well, there you go. Okay, back with you guys. Alrighty. So let me give this a trim. I'm grab my dirty, yucky scissors here and cut this off and see how it looks. Now I tried to use fancy scissors. I'm oh, sorry, I'm off camera again. Along here, but it didn't work. So I'm just going to give that a trim. Mind you, I was trying to cut wet paper. So. Alright, then I might keep that bit. Yes, I know I'm bad, but um, I'll show you what's for in a minute. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like a bedspread, but, um, or a doona cover, but it doesn't matter. Look at that. Now we can stick this down. Let me just give that a, a bit of a stick. We've come, come adrift. All right. All right, back to the drawing board. Let's do this. A bit of that. Let's close this. And there's our lids. Oh, that looks spectacular. And I'm going to stick this along the top just to give it a bit of something on the top. No. Don't do that. Alright. It's trying to pull the lid off with my teeth. Won't work on this one. No. <laughs> uh, the things you guys don't see when I'm not, you know, what I do when I'm off camera. Haha. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, that might all do. So we'll put that there. I'm not going to, um, this one here, I made it come in a little bit. Uh, this one will be a square, and I might as well do this one a square because I've already stuck it down. So there we go. Let me just chop that off. doesn't matter whether it's rough because I'm going to pull it all off anyway. All right, chuck that back in my scrap box and get rid of that. Right. Now this is just a little bit of a, um, I don't know what to use, that looks nice. It was just a bit of um, bedspread that I used um, here. I just used my hole punch to, well not hole, I don't know what it is, circle punch, to punch out some patterns that say sheet set or something or other from Where's it from? It's from somewhere. Could have been a sleep, you know, mattress magazine or something. Um, so I might just stick that on there. That's nice. Yeah. All right. Get me old glue stick. 
one thing about some um, junk mail is that glue sticks and junk mail is a marriage made in heaven because some um, glue sticks work so well with them because it's you know such thin junky paper that the glue actually sticks to it so um so there we go guys look at that okay i think i've rambled enough i think i've kept you guys long enough um but here are i'll just tack that now let's lift it up right um these are the ones that i've made so i've had a lot of fun thank you nat for the challenge um i hope i've lived up to it once again i'm not sure whether you can use fabric um or cotton thread but um i did sorry um but you can always do faux stitching um with your pens a black nico um pen or a different color pen around the outsides um so let me see if i can get rid of the glare there's my little koala isn't she beautiful with her little baby um that just gives a nice little bit of interest on the inside there and there we go so there's one little pocket there made out of junk mail there's this one here it needs something on the front um needs something on the front i don't know i'll figure it out i'll work it out but anyway so there's that one um which I've made and this one here with some stitching on it so there's that that's the inside of that one so there we go I hope you've enjoyed this guys and I hope it's given you some ideas on what to put in to your journals if you're making a journal um, and that you can make lovely things out of um, junk mail so there we go anyway guys that's it for now um probably the next one i will be blinging up my beads that i made the other day um so i will do something with those okay guys until the next video give your loved ones a hug they're precious and i will chat to you all soon bye for now